News you can use now. If you or anyone you know works the night shift, you might want to listen up. Not only is it an inconvenience, but there is new evidence that shows working that graveyard shift can make you sick. Robert Bazell has more. Just when most Americans are getting their normal sleep, 21 million others like nurse Paula Ashey are working nights. I average maybe four hours a day. And even on my nights off, I average maybe three and a half, four hours sleep. So I'm always tired. Ashley works at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, where new research provides further evidence of how harmful shift work can be. Scientists put 21 healthy volunteers in the sleep lab for three weeks. By changing lights irregularly and taking away clocks and other clues about time, they altered the subject's normal body clocks. Within just a few days, when the volunteers ate, their bodies responded differently to the food with dangerous effects. Glucose levels went much higher and stayed that way for several hours. This was because of decreased insulin release from the pancreas. And together, these reflect an increased risk of diabetes. Several studies have shown that shift workers are at higher risk for type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and other problems. But this study is one of the first to show exactly how the body is harmed. The diabetes risk was so great that three of the healthy subjects in the study became pre-diabetic during the experiment. Nine days after returning to a regular sleep-wake cycle, their metabolism became normal again. The researchers advise that when possible, shift workers try to eat when their body clocks are not out of whack. But Paula Ashey and her co-workers know how difficult that can be. It's busy, so we don't go on regular meal breaks. When you're at work, you just kind of snack when you get a free minute. You tend to eat more junk. The shift workers say there is seldom a time when they feel their body clocks are normal, because mostly they feel exhausted. 